Hey everyone, we're going to talk about why building your own home is not seem to be as popular or as an in thing as it used to be, but maybe it should be. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll get right into this. Hey everyone, I'm Martin. And I'm Shelly. And uh, we are covered with cement dust. What have we been doing? We've been doing cement block work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have. And uh, we're building a house down here. And uh, if you could subscribe, hit the notification bell. And um, we have decided, I mean, we, when we bought our piece of property down here, it was raw land. Many of you already know the story, but uh, we built a temporary cabin that uh, or a cabin that we're going to live in temporarily while we build the house and we finally started the house project um here a couple of months ago i guess yep and and one thing you informed me i mean we're getting into this thing and how many pallets of bricks did we have blocks or blocks a lot I mean. yeah it was like 22 pallets 22 pallets 75 so, per pallet so we're getting this started and and we get done and he goes well, we only got 10% done. I'm like, good grief. He yeah, didn't that, need to remind me of how much we have to do yet, but was, he did. Yeah, that was when we had, uh, <laughs> we probably put up about 100, 150 of them, something like that. I don't yeah. know. But anyway, we're, we're into our fifth pallet of blocks now, so uh, we are making some progress. We've got our storm shelter almost done. And, you know, that we as we've been working on this thing, we've been kind of discussing the whole idea of building a house yourself. And... Um, we kind of wanted to do it just because we wanted to do it, and um, but it is also saving a lot of money too, along the way. It helps us, you know, conserve some of our savings um, for more of a retirement thing or other things, or stretches it, stretches it out further. And I grew up when I was a kid. I, the last time I laid any blocks was I was about 11 years old, and uh, you know, you're probably saying, well, how how can 11 year old? Well, my dad did it but he learned it from scratch too and uh so i helped mix the mortar haul the mortar um yeah haul the blocks and guess who gets to do that part now i'm thinking is this what you did when you were <coughs> 11 12 years old i'm thinking it was yeah ah, now and i know why he just keeps on 
doing it. <laughs> I guess. I'm not sure it's such a good idea, but actually I do think it's a good idea. And yeah. and the whole the whole I guess mindset of that is I remember when I was a kid, it seemed like everybody we knew, um, the the adults that that my parents were friends with Almost everybody that I knew built their own house, and um, it was a much bigger thing, I, I think, back in the 60s, um, and probably before that even, um, maybe even more so before that, and uh, and, and it's, all, it's kind of gone to the point where I don't know hardly anybody that does that anymore. I know a couple of people that do, and uh, and I'm not sure why that is. It, it, did it just go out of popularity, or is it too much work, or is it too much work to understand the process of it or what I, i'm not sure but almost everybody that we were acquainted with friends and, and all of that you know they kind of developed those skills to be able to build a house and there's nothing there's no rocket science with it i mean what have we done so far that's been rocket science worthy uh well you have to calculate making well, sure that everything is square but, that, but that's just math i mean anybody if you have basic fourth grade math, most of the stuff you can do. Right. And and so I don't know. I mean, I, to me, it's a, um, you know, we're, we're doing it to just because I think we, we want to do it. But also, it, it is saving a lot of money, and, um, and it's not that complicated to learn how to do it. As a matter of fact, uh, we're doing a video series right now that we upload new videos on Wednesday. It's called The Homestead, The Hands-On Homestead House Build. And we're covering every single phase or every single step of everything that we're doing here, all the little processes and things like that. And honestly, for the next several weeks, we're going to be doing a lot of blocks. We're going to be on this <laughs> level here for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we don't get to level up to the next level until we get these blocks Got to get this done and, and, and the forms doing them too. Yeah, and the it's like the footings that she's talking about. Or the and, yeah, and the um, forms. and it, it's all... It's all stuff that has that is in, kind of included with this. We've been pouring the floor and 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 laying the footings in and and forming them up and all of that. So, you know, we're showing all of those steps. And and honestly, I think that if you had the kind of, I mean, if you had any level of gumption at all that you decided that you just wanted to build your your own house, um, I think you'll be able to learn to do it just from those videos alone. Mm -hmm. And they're uploaded on Wednesday, so so that's what it is. And you know, we're we have been um, the work that we're really doing right now. It's it's almost too much to do the work and shoot videos, but we're going to still continue to upload videos. It's just um, right now it's in the fall. We're getting towards the end of October, and the garden is just about done. I mean, we're still getting a few things out of it. So we're really focusing on trying to get this done before cold weather really yeah. hits. And, um, and, and this, this coming week, I think we're going to talk a little bit about this room that we're sitting in right here right now, because this is part of our, our practical preparation, I guess, plan. Yeah. Right, because oh, this yeah. room is what all is this room right here? It's a 12 by 16, and what all is this room going to? We're going to have shelves on it, and we're going to be able to put our food supply in it. Yeah. And also, it's going to be a tornado shelter. Yep. Because we don't have any shelter otherwise. Yeah, we're going to be reinforcing these block walls uh, in this area extra more than we are the rest of the I mean, place. I know some people who buy them little tornado shelter or things and they dig them in the earth but this one's going to be connected to our house so if and and it needs to bad, be it just come it's going to serve double duty i mean we never may actually it may uh, never protect us from a tornado you never know but it's yeah. like better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it and uh, so it's really going to serve a dual purpose of a lot of food storage and and kind of a root cellar we're going to keep the temperature more climate controlled for that mm -hmm. in here and so it's going to have a lot of purposes and uh, but we're going to get into more of what that's all about um, on an upcoming video so subscribe hit the notification bell um, if there's masons out there that have been watching what we just <laughs> filmed and you say they don't have any idea what they're doing uh, well you're mostly right we don't hey but we're learning it as we go and so far 
we're happy with the results. And this is my first time doing it. So <laughs> if you're going to blame somebody, blame, blame him. Me? <laughs> <laughs> now, how did that work? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that does work. Okay, well, thanks for joining. Thanks for right. subscribing. Thanks for being part of the journey with us. Yeah. And uh, follow along. We'll see you next week. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.